An update to a gator story that gained national attention back in March. State conservation officials just reversing course after threatening to take a Lakeland woman's trained pet alligator away. When you go to adopt a pet, you probably think about something practical like a dog or a cat or maybe even a bird. But the people in this video, well, not so much. Join us as we have a look at 15 people who accidentally adopted monsters. Number 1. A Wildcat A Minnesota landscaper named Jared Yo stumbled upon a peculiar sound during one of his routine jobs. Curious, he went closer to discover none other than a stranded kitten that had been abandoned by its mother and on the brink of a storm. Without second thought, he whisked the little feline to safety, providing nourishment and introducing it to his own clan. Little did he know that he wasn't dealing with an ordinary house cat. Sensing something was amiss, he then went on a hunt for clues, stumbling upon images of baby bobcats that bore a striking resemblance to his newfound friend. From the white triangles on her ears to her oversized paws, it was clear he had no typical kitten. With his newfound knowledge, he then reached out to a wildlife rehab center who confirmed his suspicions. His rescued kitten was in fact a baby bobcat in disguise. Wasting no time, he then transported it to the care of professionals, ensuring it received the expertise needed for a wild upbringing. And though the reason why the bobcat had been separated from its mother was a mystery, it found a place in the rehab center where it learned the ways of the wild under expert guidance. Jared kept in the loop with regular updates and remained optimistic about her eventual release into the wilderness, and reflecting on his brief yet impactful encounter, he expressed gratitude for the opportunity to assist in the bobcat's return to nature. He praised the efforts of veterinarians and rehab-centered employees who were dedicated to preserving the lives of wild animals while ensuring they have a fighting chance at freedom. Number 2. The One-Eyed Wonder Pup in the heart of the Ackland province in the Philippines, one dog's owner was astonished when her dog gave birth to an unusual puppy. With one single eye planted dead center in his head, two tongues waggling wildly, and an absence of a nose, he was like no other that she had ever seen. Despite his unique features, Cyclops had faced a tough start. Struggling to breathe and unable to nurse from his mother, he relied on the owner's care and a special puppy formula to survive. Yet his battle would be short-lived. Despite all the best efforts and the vet's intervention, the odds were stacked against the puppy, and tragically, Cyclops passed away just a day after his birth, leaving a void in his owner's heart. The vet speculated that Cyclops' condition, known as Cyclopia, could have been triggered by toxins ingested by his mother during pregnancy. Despite all the sorrow, the owner chose to honor Cyclops' memory. Instead of a traditional burial, she preserved him in a glass box. Number 3. A Tiger Meet Janice Haley, a Floridian who shares her home with no typical pets, but with two extraordinary Bengal tigers that weigh 400 and 600 pounds. While some may raise an eyebrow at the thought of living under the same roof as a majestic beast, Janice sees nothing but love and playfulness from her tiger companions. For her, the tigers are not only pets, they're her family, and as far as she's concerned, she's their mother. I am their mother. As far as they're concerned, I am mommy. They, they rub me in the face, they'll let me kiss them on the nose. It's not hard to see why. You can see as she affectionately interacts with her giant feline friends, showering them with kisses and playful antics that rival those of their smaller domestic counterparts. In 1995, she traded in her desk job for a life full of adventure alongside her husband's encouragement, and ever since, their backyard has become a sanctuary not only for the tigers, but also for numerous volunteers who share in the joy of caring for the creatures. While some may question the ethics of keeping tigers in captivity, Janice acknowledges the complexities of the situation, saying that it's not an ideal place for the tiger to be. Yet, with dwindling hope for tigers in the wild, she believes their sanctuary offers a lifeline for these endangered animals. Despite their imposing size, neither she nor her fellow caretakers display an ounce of fear. Instead, they embrace the playful roughhousing, allowing the tigers to chew, nuzzle, and even wrap their massive paws around them with affection. Number 4. Baby Elephant Wild as life is an animal sanctuary nestled in the heart of Zimbabwe, on one day at the sanctuary, owner Roxy Dankwartz was bustling about when suddenly she stumbled upon a sight that tugged at her heartstrings. It was a tiny elephant separated from its herd and struggling to survive. 
The pint-sized pachyderm, now affectionately known as Moyo, was found stranded on the shores of Lake Kariba. With no herd in sight, Roxy then took charge of nursing the fragile creature to health, and little did she know this act of kindness would forge an unbreakable bond between them. From the crack of dawn all the way to dusk, Roxy poured her heart into caring for the creature, feeding her specialized milk, and even sharing her bed. Fast forward five years, and Moyo has blossomed into a spirited young elephant, but her attachment to Roxy remains as strong as ever. Despite the vast expanse of the sanctuary awaiting her exploration, Moyo prefers the comforts of home, indulging in kitchen visits for peanuts, brownies, and a curious fascination with silverware. Yet beneath her playful exterior lies a tale of resilience. The trauma of her near-drowning ordeal left her with a crippling fear of water, but with Roxy's steadfast support and intensive therapy, Moyo conquered her fears and learned to swim once more. Number 5. Alligator Mary Thorne declared that she would rather face the jaws of death than let go of her beloved baby Rambo. But her worries dissolved into relief when officials from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission gave the nod for Rambo to stay put with her. In her front yard, amidst signs warning of potential nibbles, she expressed gratitude for Rambo's continued presence. Alongside her alligator companion, she shares her space with a pack of dogs. For over a decade, she's nurtured and trained 15-year-old Rambo, and despite permit debates due to his size, she has stood her ground. Eventually, after legal wrangling and negotiations, she secured Rambo's residency. My crazy gator Rambo is about 6'6 six, six now, and he weighs close to 200 pounds. However, there are strings attached. When venturing out with Rambo, she has to confine him to a cage. His powerful jaws are secured with tape, and deprived of his social outings, he now bears a transponder tag for identification akin to a household pet. She also has to obtain a personal pet license, a requirement that she feels might mislead others into believing that alligators make suitable companions. But Rambo, she insists, isn't only a pet, he's actually part of the family. Number 6. A Puma in a heartwarming tale of unconventional companionship, Maria and Alexander Dmitriev stumbled upon their unlikely housemate during a routine visit to their local zoo. From that moment on, it was clear they had found their match in a charismatic puma kitten named Messi. Captivated by his charm, they swiftly embarked on a mission to bring him into their home. Negotiations would ensue, and to their astonishment, the zoo actually agreed. With joy in their hearts and despite his initial fragility, they welcomed Messi into their home. Life with Messi has not been without challenges. From nursing him to health to accommodating his need for space, they have transformed their living home to accommodate this wild animal. With a makeshift playpen in the hallway and a special harness for walks, Messi seamlessly integrates into their daily routines. Yet, cohabitating with a puma is not always smooth. Despite their best efforts, their resident sphinx cat Kira is not quite keen on befriending Messi. However, they remain undeterred, ensuring the two don't cross paths. They believe Messi's presence in their lives is more than just mere chance, it's actually destiny. And despite the joy of living with the cat, they're quick to caution others against adopting wild animals without careful consideration. They acknowledge their fortune in Messi's gentle temperament, emphasizing that not all wild cats will share his disposition. Nevertheless, he's not just any ordinary puma. He's a remarkable creature, described by his owners as having a personality akin to a human. With his vocal nature and discerning response to their interactions, he's become an integral part of their family. Number 7. The Asiatic Black Bear in the wake of the devastation in Russian-occupied Ukraine, a heart-wrenching story emerges. It's that of Yampol, a resilient Asiatic black bear. Amidst the ruins of a zoo in Ukraine, soldiers stumbled upon the bear, one of the few survivors amidst a massacre. Badly injured and clinging to life, his fate hung in the balance until a beacon of hope emerged from Scotland. Thanks to the unwavering dedication of the Five Sisters Zoo in Scotland, He's now gearing up for a fresh start, leaving behind the horrors of war. Yampil was rescued in a Ukrainian village of the same name after the zoo he lived in. The road to sanctuary has been arduous, spanning across the European continent from Ukraine to Poland to Belgium. And soon, he'll find his solace just 20 miles west of the capital of Edinburgh. 
For him, it's not only a relocation, it's a chance to leave behind the traumas of the past while embracing a life of peace and tranquility. Amidst human suffering, it's easy to overlook the plight of animals, but it has to be known that war not only inflicts deep wounds on humans, it does on our animal counterparts as well. Preparing for the bear's arrival is not only about building a physical enclosure, it's about creating a safe haven tailored to his specific needs. With meticulous planning and dedication, the team at Five Sisters is gearing up to provide him with specialized care that he requires to thrive. Number 8. A Lioness Ana Julia Torres directs her unwavering focus to the circus, a stage where animals in distress often silently suffer, and her mission is to uncover the hidden tales of love and anguish that surround beloved creatures. A former teacher, she ignited a spark of wildlife appreciation in her students, unveiling a world where exotic pets have found their way into homes. Fueling her passion, the gift of an owl, marked the beginning of her crusade to rescue abandoned and mistreated animals. Undeterred by any challenge, she's gradually secured vast stretches of land, establishing a haven for the forsaken, and today, her wildlife refuge sprawls over 25 hectares, providing sanctuary to over 900 creatures, each with a story of survival and resilience. Amongst those animals is Jupiter, a lioness that was snatched from the clutches of a circus at a tender age. Anna became her savior, nurturing her back to health while witnessing a transformation into a playful companion. Yet fate dealt a cruel blow when authorities deemed her unfit for Anna's care, tearing her away to a distant shelter. Determined not to lose hope, Anna waged a relentless battle, rallying media support to reunite her with her ailing friend. Back in the safety of her sanctuary, Anna nursed Jupiter back to health, but their joy was short-lived because despite all efforts, Jupiter succumbed to her wounds, leaving a void in Anna's heart. Number 9. Rhino Jamie Trainer's adoption of a baby rhino turned into a hilarious sitcom when her feline friend decided to jump on board. When Jamila the rhino first arrived at the orphanage, she was greeted with the equivalent of a spa day blindfolded in earplugs to maintain a serene vibe, but let's be real, she had no clue what was happening. Jamie was the ultimate comforter, stepping up her game and showering Jamila with all the attention she could muster, and guess who decides to crash the party? None other than Mewy the cat. Suddenly, walks in the bush became a group activity, with Mewy tagging along like the coolest third wheel ever. And it doesn't stop there. Mewy upgraded from occasional visitor to full-time roommate, bunking with Jamila as though they'd been friends for their whole lives. In Jamie's world, rhinos aren't only large, majestic creatures, their personalities on four legs, and they live for the outdoors, a wallow in the mud, and of course belly rubs from their favorite humans. Number 10. Wolf Dog Yuki is a famed wolf dog who captured hearts during the final season of HBO's Game of Thrones in 2019. Unfortunately, though, Yuki passed away due to blood cancer. Yuki resided at the Golden Gates Estate Wolf Facility, and fame about the wolf dog would only escalate as Inside Edition showcased him in April of 2019. This would spark discussions about his lineage and his resemblance to the dire wolves of Westeros. If you thought those dire wolves on Game of Thrones were beasts of fantasy, check out this guy. The sanctuary clarified that he was predominantly gray wolf, with traces of Siberian husky and German shepherd in his DNA. His prominence reflected the ongoing fascination with extinct species, particularly those that are depicted in popular culture like Game of Thrones. This fascination translated into support for the sanctuary's conservation efforts, and in 2019 they launched a GoFundMe campaign to expand their facilities. In a monumental development, they secured a contract to relocate to a larger 17-acre site, marking a brand new chapter on their mission to protect and care for animals like Yuki. The $1.7 million investment from Crown Management Services signaled a promising future for the sanctuary's endeavors. Yuki may have departed this world, but his legacy lives on, and through his story, millions have learned about the plight of wolf dogs and the importance of wildlife conservation. Number 11. Coco the Gorilla In 1971, an encounter between a Stanford University graduate student named Penny Patterson and a newborn gorilla named Coco at the San Francisco Zoo would spark a remarkable turn of events. 
Driven by a childhood dream of bridging the gap between humans and animals, Penny went on an ambitious mission to teach Coco sign language, setting a stage for a groundbreaking experiment. But what began as a scientific endeavor soon blossomed into something far more profound, a bond that transcended species boundaries and captivated the world for nearly half a century. What's that your middle name? <laughs> What's your middle name? Devil. <laughs> I thought Devil was your middle name. <laughs> Project COCO emerged as the pinnacle of ape language studies, spanning an unprecedented 44 years and showcasing COCO's mastery of hundreds of signs. Together, the two forged a connection that was akin to that of a devoted mother and daughter. From facing opposition from the San Francisco Zoo to enduring skepticism from the scientific community, the two have navigated obstacles with unwavering determination. Like a fierce protector, Penny defended Coco's place, both in her life and the realm of scientific inquiry, refusing to let doubt overshadow their remarkable bond. For over four decades, their story inspired countless individuals, reshaping our understanding of animals and scientific discovery. Number 12. Warthog Meet Greg Parra, the man who accidentally adopted a wild monster and loved every minute of it. Imagine having a fully house-trained pet warthog. It's not some fantasy for Greg, it is a reality. Greg's lifelong dream of owning a warthog came true unexpectedly in December of 2021 when he received a call about a baby warthog named Wallace. Wallace was not your typical wild beast, he's more like a cuddly companion. He snuggles up with Greg and enjoys the belly rubs, and even sleeps with the family dogs in his specially made pigloo. From bottle feeding to following Greg around like a dog, Wallace quickly became a beloved member of the family. And despite his menacing looks, Wallace is all about spreading love and joy, one belly rub at a time. But having an exotic pet like Wallace does come with challenges. While some states ban exotic pets altogether, Greg navigates through the maze of regulations to ensure Wallace's well-being. Despite the occasional chewed wall, Wallace's playful antics and affectionate nature make him a hit with everyone that he meets. From having his mane braided to munching on Cheerios, Wallace lives a life that is anything but ordinary. And sure, owning a warthog might not be for everyone, but for Greg, it's a dream come true, a wild adventure full of love, laughter, and the occasional belly rub. Number 13. Skunks in a suburban home in North Ridgeville, Ohio, 50 skunks roam freely, sharing space with their human caregivers, Deborah and her partner Kevin. Skunks are notorious for their pungent odor and reputation as wild creatures, but here they've become housemates of a human couple. For Deborah, these skunks are more than just animals, they're family. She's not your average pet owner either, because she's on a mission to change perceptions about these misunderstood creatures. It all began in the year 2000 when Deborah brought home her first skunk in order to help her cope with the loss of her mother. Ever since then, her love for the animals has grown, leading her to establish America's so Skunk Haven, America's sole rescue center for domestic skunks. Every day begins early for Deborah with a routine of feeding and cleaning each skunk taking hours of her time. Yet despite the challenges, she wouldn't have it any other way. For Deborah, these skunks have become her life's passion. It's not just any sanctuary, though. It's a hub for skunk enthusiasts from across the globe. Deborah's annual Skunk Fest will draw crowds from all over, showcasing the beauty and charm of these unconventional pets. From skunk beauty pageants to awards for the best dressed, it's a celebration that's unlike any other. For Deborah, her love of skunks knows no boundaries. Just like dogs or cats, skunks can be loving and devoted companions. It's just all about seeing beyond the stereotypes while embracing the unique qualities of each animal. Through her dedication and unwavering commitment, Deborah's on a mission to change minds and hearts, believing that everyone deserves a chance, even the most unlikely of pets. In Deborah's world, skunks are not just pets, though. They're actually family, and she wouldn't have it any other way. Number 14. Owl Heart-melting footage surfaced on the internet in 2015 that showed a young girl embracing an unexpected companion in an owl. Despite its reputation for being a bird of prey, this owl shows its softer side, receiving hugs and kisses from its human friend. 
The clip, believed to be from Italy, captures an adorable interaction between the pair, and initially the girl hugs the owl, demonstrating her affection without reservations. Surprisingly, the owl seems comfortable with the embrace, even reciprocating the affection by tapping its beak on the girl's face. As the scene unfolds, she showers the owl with kisses, showing the depth of their bond. Despite a playful peck from the owl, she remains unfazed, laughing off the gesture with joy. All throughout the video, the owl nibbles at the girl's cheek and hair, showcasing its playful nature without any hint of aggression, and in a heartwarming moment, both of them turn towards the camera, radiating pure happiness and contentment. However, as the clip goes on, it becomes evident the owl does have its limits. With chirps of protest, it signals its desire for space as the girl takes a step back, respecting its boundaries. This heartwarming encounter serves as a reminder that even the wildest of creatures can form bonds of friendship and affection with humans. Number 15. A Fox In Ireland, a man named Patsy Gibbons is known far and wide as being the Fox Whisperer. While the rest of the neighborhood parades their dogs around through the streets, Patsy is often seen strolling with not one or two, but three magnificent foxes. The story of this peculiar companionship takes place when Patsy's brother-in-law had stumbled upon a pitiful sight, a baby fox that had been abandoned and left alone. Moved by compassion, Patsy didn't hesitate to take her in, naming her Granny, but little did he know this act of kindness would change his life. Before long, news of his goodwill would spread, and soon he found himself entrusted with two more foxes, Minnie, a tiny ball of fur rescued from the streets, and Henry, the survivor of a dog attack. Both of these foxes found solace and care under Patsy's watchful eye, and as time went on, they all became inseparable, garnering attention and adoration wherever they went. Their presence was especially cherished by the local school children, who eagerly awaited the days when Patsy would bring his furry friends for a visit. Yet, Patsy's heart was not limited to foxes alone. His home became a sanctuary for an array of animals, which included 28 chickens, 12 ducks, 2 dogs, and 2 cats. Despite the bustling menagerie, it was the foxes who held a special place in his heart. Their loyalty and affection were unwavering. But amidst the newfound fame and admiration, Patsy remained humble, insisting that he was no expert, just merely a student who was learning from creatures that he so dearly cared for. He welcomed inquiries and shared his experiences with others, spreading a message of compassion and understanding. 